Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here and happy Mask Monday and happy Valentine's week. That's right, we have Valentine's coming up really soon and today I'm going to share a few things with you. Some friend mail and some ear flicks so we're going to get to see some new earrings and we're going to be doing our mask and I've picked out two. I've got the Babe Under Eye Mask with active collagen and gold it says so we're going to put these on first and how is your monday going did y'all have a lot of rain over the weekend we got like bombarded with like a lot of rain i know california's had a lot of rain and it just seems to be just heavy duty with rain here lately and these are black so i've not used these before I really don't know how they're going to work. Not too good so far. They seem dried out. Maybe I had it on the wrong side. I do that sometimes. I never really know how to put these things on. See, this one doesn't want to go on either. Try this side. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of collagen or moisture in there. I don't know. Is it expired? Let me check it. It says 2024-620, so they're not expired yet, but they don't seem very, I don't know. They don't seem very, like, full of essence or anything. Have y'all used the babe? Looks like I got a black eye now. Oh, well, that's what we have. And then I'm going to also put the Aceology Probiotic Restoring Biodegradable Mask on top of it. I don't have any fancy, cute, maybe they're not fancy, but just little cute eye masks. I just, or mask in general. Mine all seem to be kind of plain. I guess I'm going to have to maybe be on the lookout with Amazon or other places where you might be able to get some cute masks. But we're going to get one that's going to be effective, and that's the main thing, I guess, as long as you're masking. Are you masking today? I'm looking in my mirror. I'm going to get this mask on, and we're going to get started. Now, I do have ear flick, as I'd mentioned, and it is, I think, my last one. I did finally cancel it, and I thought, you know, I've had enough earrings from there. So I decided to go ahead and cancel it. I have on my little sweatshirt that I got from Timu for Valentine's campaign. And this is really soft and cozy. Really like it. And I got a scarf on from Dollar Tree. And I think I got this little headband from Let's In Style. So they have lots of little things. There came like three in a package. So let's go to the ear flick. And let's see what ear flick has in store for us. Do y'all have special plans for Valentine's Day? Are you going out with your honey, your boyfriend, your significant other? Do you have plans? We don't really do too much as far as Valentine's Day per se. We will go out to eat probably. And I'd say that's probably our big thing. Sometimes I might have some wine and some dark chocolate. I really like that. And ear flick. Now, like I said, it comes once a month. It's $4.39 a month, so it's very affordable. And you can pick your style of earrings, and they send you these earrings in this cute little bag. And inside here, we have the price tag, which is $15.99. If you sign up for a longer contract, you can get your earrings down you know, to maybe $3 and something a month. Now, these are a little bit different. What do you think? They're like a rose gold, I guess a hammered look top. Let me see if I can get them out of here. And it looks like they're bent. I guess it got bent a little bit in shipping, but they're like asymmetrical. They've got that little bend up there and of course, here's the other pair. Maybe they bent them down just so that they would stay on this little piece of paper. I don't know. But anyway, they're very cute. And I like these kind of millennium looking earrings. So very, very cute. And what do you think? 
Do you like the rose gold with the black? I will say that the stud part of this is bent and I had to straighten it back out. I find that to be a little weird, but that's the way they came. And like I said, it probably happened during shipping. But now they're all straightened out. Very different. You know, they even have a curvature to them. I definitely do not have any kind of earrings that look like this. So they should hang down really cute when they're on. I think so. I'm not going to try them on today. I'm just going to show you how they would look. So they hang down good. That's nice. They match my black eye patches, don't they? So that was my ear flick. And like I said, I think it's my last one. Like I said, I've been getting ear flick for almost two or three years. A long time. So no more ear flick. I have some friend mail. I got a card in the mail to Mr. and Mrs. Jackie Russell. So let's see who this is from. It's got a swan on there. Isn't that pretty? Are those like lilies? I'm not real sure. Very pretty. Or gladiolas, maybe. Gladiolas, maybe that's what it is. I think this is a nice handmade card is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? And it's got little swanettes. I don't know what you call them. The little babies in with the mother. That's so cute. It says, home is where love resides. Memories are created. Friends always belong. And family are forever. Wishing you both a most wonderful anniversary. Sincerely, Michelle Rickard. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Well, how sweet. And guys, my anniversary, my husband and I's anniversary is coming up on February 23rd. So that's so sweet of you, Michelle, to send that card. That's a beautiful card. And it says on the back, made by Michelle. So it is handmade. And it's beautiful. It's like acclimate on there. It's, or, you know, I probably don't even know if that's the right word. I'm not an artist and or a crafter. But that is beautiful. Thank you so much. And that's the inside there. Very beautiful. Thank you, Michelle. I love that. And, yeah, I was going to talk about my, not necessarily my anniversary, but my little love story with my husband. But I'm going to go ahead and finish my mail, and then we'll come back to that. Oh, and I have a winner. I forgot. I do have a winner for the Dollar Tree train. And I'll be announcing that in just a minute, so hang on tight. Okay, guys, I got a thank you, Hello Kitty card from Plush Bat Fan from our friends at Dream Big Productions. Plush Bat Fan, have a wonderful month of February, February 6th. And he's always sending me cute little cards. And I think he sent me another one, but I couldn't find it before I filmed. I looked, and it's been misplaced. So I'm sorry, Plush Bat Fan. When I come across that, I'll be sure and show it. If you don't know Plush Bat Fan, he has a channel. He does gaming. It's like retro gaming, multiplications, edition. They're about three or four minutes long. Go over and check out his channel if you haven't and let him know Miss Jackie sent you. He does Hello Kitty on his community page and some of his like shorts. And he is collecting Hello Kitties. And he has sent me a plush toy here. He told me he was sending one and we're gonna open that up and see what we have. Looks like I have a couple in here. And it looks like my note fell down. Let's see what we have here got two little plushies in there and let's see what the note says greetings inside this package is two plush stitch and another disney fictional character we can't recognize we have 29 hello kitty watches now he has 35 now i think he sent me an email so this was sent i got it last week and it was last monday when i got it but i had already filmed last monday so i couldn't get it in for that day but anyways, they have flashing lights. We have short videos of different Hello Kitty flashing light combinations on our channel. Be sure and go check that out. And check his community page too and his shorts as well as his little games. We will feature new episodes of Path Tactic Math Maze game along with additional subtraction, multiplication, and division drills. Have a wonderful winter season, January 31st 
2024. So this actually was mailed before the little postcard was. And inside here, we've got a stitch and then a Disney that he was not able to identify. So if you know, I'm thinking this might be the stitch. Well, this says Disney. Are they both Disney? I guess they're both Disney. And I'm not even know if I think this is stitch, the one that has a stitched mouth. But am I right or wrong? You let me know. But aren't those adorable? <laughs> this looks like some type of koala bear, a space koala bear. But he said he wasn't able to identify one of them. And I can't say that I can identify them either. But you let me know. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I like that little pink bow on this one here. But so cute. Well, thank you very much, Plush Bat Fan. Those are adorable. So that is my mail and my ear flick. Now, before I go into how I met my husband, I was going to tell you who the winner is of the Dollar Tree train. Yeah, we had 11 channels with our Dollar Tree train, and I want to thank each and every one of the ladies. We had Mary Catherine Loves Cats. We had Reviews with Sue. We had Tracy and Chloe Unboxings and more. And we had Laura Wooten. We had Lori's Life, Faye Blatcher, Katie's Corner of the World, Single Mom Reviews, and that's Sherry. And we had Favorites with Laura, and we had Unboxing with Arlene. And that was 11 channels, including myself. And you can go and look at all their channels. The winners will be announced within the next couple of days. Some of them may have already been announced. But each channel will have their own winner. There's no duplicate winners. And my winner of the Dollar Tree Train Collab is Morgan Griggs. Congratulations, Morgan. Hey, that's wonderful. Now be sure and contact me within 48 hours and I'll get your package out as soon as I can. And congratulations. And thank you all for participating. I think that is one of our most favorite collaborations. And everybody always has such positive feedback. And we really appreciate you participating and rating our Dollar Tree train and we're going to get ready with another Dollar Tree train. It's going to be coming out in a couple of weeks for Easter and spring. So be sure and be on the lookout for that. And we will have a couple of new channels coming on board with us. So it should be a fun collaboration. And again, congratulations, Morgan. Now about my husband. I worked in Dallas and I worked with these ladies at Triangle Pacific was the name of the corporation. We worked in the accounts payable department, but there were a couple of other ladies there that I became very good friends with, and ironically, each one of them had had a blind date with their significant other, and ironically, we all got married that year. It was very, very um, unusual, but Janie had met C.H., and on a blind date and then ch hooked up shannon which was another co-worker of mine with ed and ed and shannon ended up getting married that year and then they set up a blind date for me and kevin which i wasn't overly thrilled about having a blind date but i finally give in to them and i said well okay i'll go on this blind date this thing's kind of driving me crazy a little bit but they set me up for a blind date for January 9th, 44 years ago. And I was real nervous about it. And I think the date was actually on the 11th. And I was so nervous about it that I thought I would like to talk to him before I met him blindly. So he called me and we talked for hours. And it seemed like we knew each other forever. Like we were soulmates. And then when he came over, he, we made arrangements to meet each other before the official blind date. So he came over on January 9th. And I think I shared that with y'all one time that when he came over, there was a little toy phone there, like a little French provincial phone that it might have been a real phone I don't know but anyway it was Shannon's and I wasn't talking and since we had talked for hours the night before he picked up that phone and said hello is Vicki there and Vicki is my name in case y'all don't know that's my given name and I did not have my nickname of Miss Jackie back then so anyways I started talking with him and broke the ice and we started going out and 
we dated and it just seemed like a whirlwind romance and it really was because he asked me to marry him about a month later and I was just like overwhelmed but at the same time I was very excited and I just I just loved him it was like he was like my soulmate and it was just moving so fast but I didn't go with my mind I went with my heart and my heart said yes and so I told him, yes, I'll marry you. And we got married on February 23rd of that year. And of course, it was a real quick get together as far as getting married. We got it all put together. And of course, my family was there. It was a small wedding and his family was from Missouri. And none of them were able to attend because it you know, happened so quickly. But we got married and we got married by Justice of the Peace with my family there. And then we moved shortly after, like on March 6th, to his hometown in Herman, Missouri. And we lived there for like 13 or 14 years, had all three children there in Missouri, Seth, Josh, and Laura. And we moved to Corpus Christi in about 1993. Started working, I guess you could say, in the corporate world. We had worked his family business for a while there. But it was just like a whirlwind romance. It'll be 44 years on January 23rd. So, Michelle, thank you so much for sending me the happy anniversary card. I sure appreciate that. And I'm going to be sure and tell my husband about it, too. I'm going to show him your homemade card. That's so sweet of you. And I don't know what else to tell you about the romance. I can just tell you that we were together a lot during those six weeks before we got married. We went to a lot of different places together as far as sharing places that we like to go. And I know it's a short time, but sometimes you just know. And that's how I felt. I felt like I just knew. And... And we've had fun ever since. It's hard to believe it's been 44 years or almost 44 years. And I have known him for 44 years. So it's hard to believe that it has, you know, that much time has gone by. And of course, now we have eight grandchildren along with, you know, our three children that we had when we were younger. So we've just been blessed and we just have so much to be thankful for. So I wanted to share that with y'all since it's Valentine's and it's, you know, close to my anniversary and it just so happened that I got an anniversary card, which I did not know that was going to take place. So that was a nice little surprise. I want to thank you, Michelle, and I thank you, Plush Bat Fan, for my card and for these cute little Disney stuffed plushies. They're very, very cute. You're so sweet. Be sure and check him out. I'll have his channel down in my descriptions for you to pop on over there. And Michelle is a subscriber friend, so you just may see her in my you know comments and other channels because we do have a wonderful community here and a lot of us know each other through the lives that are done and some of the other you know just in the channels in general we really appreciate you i wish you all a happy valentine's and i guess it's probably time to take this mask off it's been on about 20 minutes and take off these here and it feels really good i got little puppies out here playing again this morning oh but it feels really good my skin feels good. It needed that. With this dry weather, even though it's been rainy and stormy, we still need it. This mask is great. Be sure and congratulate Morgan. I went and grabbed one of the puppies so you could see him. This here is Frankie. Isn't he adorable? He's a little Yorkie poo. He's got the Yorkie colors, but I just want to congratulate Morgan. Y'all be sure and congratulate her. And... I thank everybody that sent me their friend mail, Michelle and Plush Bat Fan. Y'all have a wonderful Valentine's. And I like my earrings. Did you like the new earrings that I got this month? They're a little bit different, but, you know, they were really, really cute. So I guess that's all I have today. I was going to see if I could see his sister somewhere. They went and hid. But anyway, that's all I have today. <laughs> yeah. They're so sweet. And the Yorkie Poos, he's available. If anybody's in the market, let them know. All right, guys, that's all I have. 
And as usual, I wish you all a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I wish you all a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.